We're returning now to one of our top stories. Israeli forces are expanding their ground operation in northern Gaza. Overnight, they took out dozens of Hamas fighters and rescued an Israeli soldier held hostage. Joining us with more analysis is Professor Greg Barton, research professor at the Global Islamic Politics Centre at Deakin University. Uh, Greg, good to see you. Thank you for your time. Things are clearly intensifying. From what we've seen from reporting out of the region and public statements from the Israelis, what do we know about the IDF's strategic intentions here and how the situation is likely to develop? Well, Ash, uh, strategic's a good word. We, we know something about tactics, but strategy, of course, is long term. They want to completely eliminate Hamas as a military threat. And of course, that also means eliminating it, returning to any sort of power authority in the Gaza Strip. Uh, the question is how to do that. We know that there's at least 500 kilometres of tunnels, much of which the IDF doesn't really know the, the, the details of, under Gaza City and across the Strip. Uh, this campaign will certainly go for weeks, but it could go for months. Urban warfare is very hard. And urban warfare, uh, you know, even when you've got cities where, where civilians can flee, is still bloody and awful. But in this situation, the civilians are struggling to flee. I mean, they, the, they can't leave the Strip. They... Uh, many have gone to the southern side of the Strip, as the Israelis requested, but but there are hundreds of thousands uh, who haven't been able to do that. And there are many staff in hospitals who can't move, medical staff who who, who don't want to leave them. Uh, so it's a nightmare situation. And for the long term, uh, there will need to be some sort of just and durable political solution. There'll certainly need to be some sort of coalition that will rule the Gaza Strip. And if the rate of civilian casualties carry on like they are, that undermines the capacity of achieving the outcome. So uh, destroying Hamas, I mean, I think destroying is probably the wrong word, uh, completely neutralising their military power is important. But if you uh, create a situation in which uh, recruitment through future generations is supported because of, of the way in which um, Hamas spins this attack, then you, you can't really destroy a movement. You certainly can't destroy an idea. And more importantly, uh, if you don't build the trust of, of the people you're trying to liberate, uh, you won't have any basis for a long-term political solution. And there won't be any security for the, the Israelis or the Palestinians uh, without some sort of just uh, political solution, which is acceptable to all.